Welcome to section 31 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Klebsiella, which you can see right here. This scene takes place on a remote planet where apes are intellectually advanced. As you can see, they've become so advanced that they're beginning to compete with the humans, and now a war has commenced between the apes and mankind. Notice that the humans are using guns, but the apes prefer clubs. Clubs sounds like Klebsiella, so all of these apes holding clubs should help you remember that this image is all about Klebsiella. Just like in our other gram-negative videos, notice that we've included a pink sunset in this image. This is to help you remember that Klebsiella is gram-negative. This is a gram stain of Klebsiella. Notice that it appears pink or red under the microscope and is rod-shaped. So Klebsiella is a gram-negative bacillus. Now notice that we've shown some flowers next to this dirty, muddy river. This is to help you remember that Klebsiella is part of the normal gastrointestinal flora. So flower for normal gastrointestinal flora. One of the monkeys on the ape's side appears to be overly eager to attack the humans. As you can see, this white monkey is running extremely fast. Just like in our E. coli video, monkey sounds like maconkey. So this monkey represents that Klebsiella ferments lactose on maconkey agar. More specifically, the monkey is running very fast. So Klebsiella is a fast lactose fermenter. This is a figure of maconkey agar, and like we discussed in the last video, the pink color right here indicates that the organism is a lactose fermenter. So Klebsiella would appear pink like this on maconkey agar. Next, notice that we've shown several sacks full of sand that the humans have been using as a protective barrier. SAC is our symbol for the polysaccharide capsule, so this should help you remember that Klebsiella has a polysaccharide capsule. Despite their powerful guns and protection from the sand sacks, this guy appears terribly frightened. He's so scared that he's peed his pants. Now we can see that he's scared, embarrassed, and sitting in his own puddle of urine. The urine is here to help you remember that Klebsiella is urease positive. We covered this test in the video on Staph epidermidis, which was section 16, but recall that the pink color in the test tube right here indicates that the organism is urease positive. He normally takes anxiety pills to help calm his nerves, but they got knocked on the ground, so he's probably having a panic attack right now. The spilled container of medication is our symbol for antibiotic resistance. So this part of the scene should help you remember that Klebsiella is associated with multi-drug resistance. Okay, now notice that we've shown a huge gorilla leading the charge. You can see that he's all the way over on the human side, and is now picking up and strangling a poor soldier. Also notice that the gorilla is pretty ferocious and even has mucus pouring out of his mouth as he screams terror into the eyes of his opponents. The mucus coming out of the gorilla's mouth is here to help you remember that Klebsiella produces mucoid colonies when grown on agar. This is a figure of mucoid colonies of Klebsiella growing on maconkey agar. And this occurs because of the abundant polysaccharide capsule of Klebsiella, causing the colonies to have a very thick and viscous appearance. Also notice that the gorilla has a bunch of dyed beads dangling down on the side of his head. All of these dyed beads are used as a token among the apes to indicate that he is their leader. Anyway, dyed beads sounds like diabetes, so this is our symbol for diabetes. The gorilla is also strangling this poor soldier guy, causing him to cough, which is our symbol for pneumonia. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that Klebsiella is associated with lobar pneumonia in diabetics when aspirated. Okay, notice that now we've shown a human soldier throwing a Molotov cocktail next to the guy that's coughing and getting strangled by the gorilla. The cocktail is our symbol for alcohol, and the guy coughing represents pneumonia. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that Klebsiella can cause lobar pneumonia in alcoholics when aspirated. Finally, the idea of the guy getting strangled should help you remember the word struvite. The kidney stones caused by Klebsiella are comprised of ammonium, magnesium, and phosphate, which form little crystals when viewed under a microscope and are known as struvite crystals. So Klebsiella may cause struvite kidney stones. This is an image of struvite crystals detected by an automated urinalysis system. Notice the crystals right here, for example. Okay, moving on, notice that now we've shown a monkey on the ape side of the river who appears to be tearing the liver out of a dead body and is now eating it. Pretty terrifying. No wonder that guy on the other side of the river is peeing his pants. Anyway, this monkey eating the liver should help you think of hepatic abscesses. So Klebsiella can cause hepatic abscesses. Also notice that there's another dead guy on the ground who has green bacterial growth beginning to cover his abdomen. Just like in our E. coli video, this is here to help you remember that Klebsiella can cause spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. Okay, now let's turn our attention back to the left side of the image. As you can see, 
We've shown a young, attractive girl who is so kindly kneeling down next to this terrified soldier in an attempt to comfort him. Just like in some of our prior videos, the young, attractive girl next to the urine should help you remember that Klebsiella causes urinary tract infections. She happens to know this soldier quite well, and the fact that his favorite food is jello. So you can see her offering him some red and green cubes of jello. The red jello is here to help you remember that Klebsiella is classically associated with red currant jelly sputum. Finally, look closely at this river that has been dividing the humans from the apes. Towards the top of the image, it's a normal blue color. However, towards the bottom, it has become black due to the blood seeping into the ground and the apes running back and forth. This black color resembles the color of necrotic tissue and is here to help you remember that Klebsiella can cause lung abscesses and liquefactive necrosis of lung tissue. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 53-year-old homeless male with a history of alcoholism is brought to the emergency department due to three days of chest pain, chills, and shortness of breath. He quickly destabilizes and passes away despite aggressive intervention. A sputum culture obtained upon admission to the emergency department revealed gram-negative bacilli that formed mucoid colonies. An autopsy revealed the presence of lung abscesses filled with liquefactive necrosis. The organism most likely responsible for this patient's death, A, slowly produces a pink color on McConkie agar, B, rapidly produces a pink color on McConkie agar, C, slowly produces a yellow color on McConkie agar, or D, rapidly produces a yellow color on McConkie agar. Okay, there are several key points that you should have noticed throughout the question stem. First, the patient had a history of alcoholism. Second, he presented to the emergency department with chest pain, chills, and shortness of breath which is concerning for aspiration pneumonia. Third, a sputum culture showed gram-negative bacilli that formed mucoid colonies. And fourth, an autopsy revealed lung abscesses filled with liquefactive necrosis. Collectively, these clues provide us with enough information to conclude that the most likely causal organism was Klebsiella and that this patient died from aspiration pneumonia. So with this in mind, the correct answer is B rapidly produces a pink color on McConkie agar. In other words, Klebsiella is a fast lactose fermenter. From the image, recall that the white monkey running very fast right here is here to help you remember that Klebsiella is a fast lactose fermenter on McConkie agar. Like we discussed earlier, the pink color on McConkie agar right here indicates that the organism is a lactose fermenter. So Klebsiella ferments lactose relatively rapidly, causing the agar to turn pink faster than other organisms, such as Serratia or Citrobacter, which are slow lactose fermenters. If we return to the question, you can see that A is wrong because Klebsiella is a fast lactose fermenter, not a slow lactose fermenter. C and D are wrong because Klebsiella is a lactose fermenter and therefore produces a pink color on McConkie agar, not a yellow color. So again, the correct answer is B, rapidly produces a pink color on McConkie agar. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Klebsiella.